Um, so it turns out that during a CBS interview, former U.S. President George W. Bush said that the public is always surprised that he, uh, Michelle Obama, the Obamas, that they have such a close friendship. He adds that Americans seem so polarized that they have a very hard time imagining that two people with such different political views can have this kind of relationship, which is very interesting to have the both of you here as former MPs. What is it like? Is it true? Can you, in fact, have this relationship with someone who has such a, a different political view than your own? Lisa, why don't you kick off this combo? <laughs> Well, when I, it, you can, you can, because people are people. Sometimes partisanship is an important part of your life, but I mean, it's your life at the end of the day, and you have to have the people that you have that strong connection with. When I moved to Ottawa in 2008 as a conservative cabinet minister, I really didn't know anybody. I ended up with a best friend who was uh, very prominent within the Liberal Party of Canada, was a lobbyist, has her own company right now, and she still is my best friend today. She's the one that I call when anything goes wrong. We have completely different political points of view on certain issues, and we discuss them, but I love her like a sister. Wait, wait, could you have that publicly, that friendship at the yeah, time? Yeah, everybody knew, and absolutely, everybody knew that Jackie LaRock was Lisa Raitt's best friend. It was not a big deal. And the other side of it was, if you know Jackie and you know Lisa, you knew that they would get along really well. So it made a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. There's no frowning in the bubble on having these kinds of friendships. Are there, okay, but are there conversations that you avoid on your nights out? Like, is there an unspoken <laughs> agreement over yeah. dinner and drinks that you don't talk about whatever, healthcare, tax, okay. report, whatever? <laughs> okay, Lainey, <laughs> there are certain things you don't discuss after the after the first bottle of wine. Let me just put it that way. Okay. <laughs> okay. And you gotcha. stay Olivia. away because it can get a little bit heated. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and, um, Lisa, you might remember um, John Baer and I was dancing up in storm in the uh, parliamentary press gallery yeah. and MP dinner. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, he's conservative. You need a photo. I'm a Democrat. Uh, oh, well, there might have been photo, uh, but, you know, that was after <laughs> half a bottle of wine on my part. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, Michelle Obama um, is a very empathetic kind of person, and it's great that uh, you see them connecting. You know, uh, politics is it's about exchange of ideas, and it shouldn't hurt people's relationship with each other because everybody gets into politics to do good work hopefully uh to make the city or country a better place to be so why fight personally uh, we will disagree and argue about it but no no need to hurt each other's feelings so megan mm -hmm. leslie yeah, a was uh I was going to tell you, it's a funny story. Megan Leslie and I grew close because we ended up doing some extracurricular work in Ottawa with each other. We got to know each other. But that did not stop her from one day demanding my resignation as Minister of Labor, I think, <gasps> which was really funny because I looked over and I said, come on. And Megan went, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, and I know Megan because she is now, of course, the head of WWF Canada, of which I am a board member. I can't believe she said that. That's amazing and, and wild to hear at the same time. So that's a really great example. Um, you know what? I'm always curious to know, though, because there there is such theater to politics, right? You both know this better than any of us. The theater of fighting for your constituents, the theater of like fighting for your party's platform and policies. And so I'm always loving what goes down in the House of Commons when I see the debates and the theater of it all. And then I wonder, what does it look like in the cafeteria at lunch? You know, like these are difficult times now. And so does that carry over? So have you ever had a time where you're like, you are not sitting with me today? <laughs> so wait, what happened in the cafeteria after between Lisa and Megan? Like, you know, oh, which, that's, good. <laughs> that's uh, you, know, you know, when someone stands up and says you should lose your job, I, I want to know what the next interaction is afterwards. <laughs> Are you like, <laughs> seriously, like when the cameras are off? I made fun of her. I said, come on, Leslie, what are you doing here, Megan? That was fine. She laughed. I laughed. I mean, it is you get caught up in the in the moment and, you know, it is part of the theater mm -hmm. for sure. 
Sometimes, sometimes, I mean, I said something in the House of Commons once that I felt bad about and I went and I apologized afterwards because I thought it was uncalled for. So, you, you know, you just watch what you can say and and it is it is important though. It is important to make sure you maintain relationships because boy, if you don't find friendships in Ottawa, there's not a lot of joy. Yeah, and it mm. gets well, very lonely if you just end up isolating yourself, you know. And Lisa, I still appreciate your uh, the memo you sent to me uh, across the aisle uh, when I left Parliament Hill uh, in 2014. So thank you for that. Oh, wow, well, we are getting we so you. much inside baseball on <laughs> Parliament Hill. I love this.